and that stretch kind of starts to go away where it's not as, uh, I don't know, painful is the right word. If you feel like you're not getting a good stretch anymore, and at that point, what he's going to do is just drop down his elbows on the box, and then you can continue to do that as you get a better stretch. And then if you're doing it on the ground, you can do the exact same thing, same concept. Okay, on the ground, what you want to do is you want to take the down to your elbows, down in front of your, so your shin, and then to a point where maybe you can even bring your hands out in front of your shin. We are down to our final. <laughs> 30 seconds. Heat wave coming. Heat wave coming. On the ground, the bent arm to create a deeper stretch if he wants it, and then to relieve some stress as well. So he's going up and down as he feels is needed. Good. We are <laughs> halfway through. Uh, what I want you guys to do is go ahead and rest a little bit. We're going to continue with that same arm, but I want you to bring it up just a little bit. Bill did that right there, and then you go back. Okay. So all Bill did is that he took his arm. Angle to the side, move that arm up a little bit, and then my back under that stretch. And he's holding that until I tell him to rest. Did the dogs drink that much water? Okay, we got about another 20 seconds. Oh. Get, get, get. He went straight to it. Face is hilarious. Five, three, two, one. Rest. We are going back to that starting position. And we are going to switch arms. So same thing, arms to your side. <clears throat> now we are rolling over onto our left arm, which means we're bringing that right leg up and over and using that right arm to stabilize. Go ahead and get into that movement. Good work, good work, good work. Remember, use that arm, that bent arm that's out in front of you. That one, you can use it to push on your shoulders to either limit the stretch or to intensify the stretch, whichever you choose to do. And you can go back and forth. If it's too painful, you can hold it for a little bit and then you can Relieve some of that stress. Kip is also stretching. And Kip is doing the exact same stretch Bill is over here. 
breathing heavy. <laughs> you got about, let's go with another 10 seconds on this arm before we move it up a little bit. Five, three, two, one. All right, go ahead and rest. Go ahead and that same arm, bring it up just a little bit, and then you go back, and we're gonna finish off with another 40 seconds here. That's, that's your bad shoulder, right? Ten seconds. Five, a three, a two, a one, and rest. Nice. All right. Now that our muscles are loose a little bit, feels got a little sweaty. Must have been the pain. Oh, I was kidding. Slow. All right. We have two rounds of a warm of a warm up. I was gonna say workout, but it's also a workout. Happy <laughs> workout. Uh, two rounds of a warm up. We're gonna do eight. Once again, we're going for complex. That's the theme for today. Complexes. Okay. Your complex for our movement number one is a hamstring walkout, just like you would be doing a, an inchworm. So you bend down. You're gonna walk out. You're gonna go into the bottom of the push up. Yep. And bring that chest up. You're gonna hold that for about three to five seconds. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to step up. Lunge, hold that, three to five seconds, and then you're going to stand up. You're alternating your legs on your step up, we're gonna do a total of eight, okay? So walk out, you guys can start at home, if you guys know what you're doing, I'll walk you through it here. Walk out, like an inch work, you're going to bend to the cobra stretch, which is chest up, take your hip on the ground, you're gonna hold that for three to five seconds, you're gonna bring your, you're gonna alternate your legs that you bring up into a lunge, Deep lunge for that hip, and then you stand up. Build this three down with five to go. It's hot now, it's hot. Deep stretch, cobra stretch, stretch out those abs. Get that tension in that lower back, and then go into the lunge, step up, and stretch out those hips, and then stand up, and do it all over again. Inchworm out. Keep you showing everyone your butt. <laughs> He's just standing like he doesn't know what to do. Cobra stretch. Stepping up, alternating legs when he's stepping up. Remember that every position, we're holding three to five seconds. Come here, dog. He got one more reach. I believe. We're doing eight, three to five second hold. Down. Right here. Down. Oh. It's because Bill played with hands. Done. Oh, there you go. Nice. You're going to get a couple. Breathing, getting into it. Oh, wait. I'm trying to do that. The kip stretch. The kip stretch. Yeah, the kip stretch. It's more of a neck stretch. Okay, I think Bill got all things done there. All right, next movement, we are going from a lunge into a squat. So the key here is that when you go into that lunge, you want to go deep lunge as you will normally. So you step in, lunge, and then from here, trying to stay low, you're going to step up into a squat. Boom, and drive it up. Okay, the key is to stay low. Okay, don't stand up after the squat. I mean, after the lunge. Stand up after the squat. Okay? A total of eight between four per leg, so reverse lunge. Step up, stay in that squat, stay low, and then stand up after the squat. A lot of activation going on here, guys. A lot of activation with those hips, those quads. 
that movement from going to the lunge straight into the squat without standing up will get difficult, especially in round number two. Good. Control. You also want to make sure that when you step up, you're stepping up into an appropriate squat stance. Not too wide, not too narrow. You want your feet just about shoulder width apart. When you stand up, you want to land in that perfect squat position. How you feel, bro? Good. Today, guys, good warm up. Got some good stretching in. We'll finish this at about the 20 minute mark. And we'll be ready to go for our 20 minute workout. All with the hopes of finishing within 45 minutes. Guys, 
Darren, good work. Just like that, stay low. Okay, after that, eight step ups, four per leg.
16 reps? So eight of each, essentially. Okay. Making you think. Yeah, Bill's making us think today. Here we go. 10 seconds. Go, round your shoulder into a slip jerk, into a squat clean. That is one rep. Round your shoulder into a slip jerk, into a squat clean. That is two reps. Round your shoulder, slip jerk, squat clean. Three reps. So there's three movements. Power clean, slip jerk, squat clean. Do those three equals one. One, two, three, five. <laughs> One, two, three, six. One, two, three, seven. All right, just keep that count going. Every three movements counts as one. Okay. <laughs> Bill is halfway through, eight reps down. And he said, with eight reps to go. <laughs> Can I repeat what you said? But he's doing a great job. That's a lot of them broken. Yeah. Eight. It's movement is difficult, guys, which is why you have a 20 minute time cap to only complete two rounds of 32 reps. Nice. Doing a good job pulling up. When he pulls up, keeping that dumbbell nice and close to his body. When he's in that split jerk, he's quickly uh, transitioning those feet. Okay. If he's pushing with the right arm, it's the right leg that goes back. If he's pushing with the left arm, it is the left leg that goes back. Okay. And then he's going into a squat clean. Same concept, pulling it nice and close to his body, but he's able to drop down under that weight. Okay, so a little bit less bicep, more arm. The first movement is a lot more bicep. Less legs. You're at one, two, three, 14. 14, Bill has two reps left. We are hitting that two minute mark. Ladies at home, let me see how you're doing. Good, split jerk into a squat clean, perfect. Nice split jerk and then a squat clean, Karen. Beautiful. Karen's got it, Karen's oh using arms, Karen is tired. Done. Good work, we like to see tired, I like that. So grab the shoulder, Perfect. one, split jerk, beautiful, straight into Two. it, and then a okay. squat clean. Oh, Karen's got it down, Rita's got it down, Rita's going to do step ups. Step up, so Rita's going stepping up, she's alternating the legs with her step up. When she comes back down, she's jumping over an object. Karen is going to do good old fashioned step ups. Another way to modify as well. Remember, every time you jump onto the box, for those of you doing RX at home, every time you jump onto the box, it counts as a rep. Okay, so one rep for the box jump, plus another rep for the box jump. Oh, for those of you that are at home and doing the modified version, it's one rep for the step up, one rep for the object that you're doing. Oh. Good work. So it looks like Karen did probably eight step ups and then she's jumping over an object eight times as well for a total of 16 reps. Bill's done with round number one. We are three and a half minutes in. Nice work, which means this should get us to about 13 and a half, 14 minutes on the workout. That's if we keep the same pace, um, which naturally we are all human. We will slow down. So the goal is. I would say 15 minute workout, if we can get it there, that would be awesome. Somewhere between 15 to 17 is ideal, okay? That is the goal, that's what we should all be shooting for. 15 to 17. RX plus athletes that have lighter weight, you're shooting sub 15. Okay, if you, if you have heavier weights, force? you're in close to that 17. Depending on your goals that you have. I'll stop you. Nice. This complex is going to get muy picante, which also means a spicy. Nice. Nice, nice. Bill's doing a good job. He's breathing. And this is a hard complex to breathe through. So 
you'll choose wisely when you decide to compress, get tight, right. and when you decide to exhale and relax. Ten seconds, Bill? Huh? Ten seconds. Ten seconds what? Then they need you so next one. Five seconds? <laughs> no, I'm just giving you a 15 second break. We are five minutes in to go workout. Work Pelvic power glitch. Split jerk. Squat clean. That's another rep. Another line that Bill made a race. Split jerk. Dip the drive. Beautiful. Squat clean. And another rep down. Now we're on the squat clean. Stay on those heels. Keep that chest up. You did a uh, clean and then. Did squat clean first. You just did squat clean. Okay. Extra rep, extra movement. Extra squat. He's counting. Yeah. Chris is counting. Nice, nice. This is getting tiring, guys. You are halfway through your workout. Okay, for most of us, we are halfway through our workout here. We're getting to the halfway point. And rest. 16. Okay, 15 seconds. Four more. Four more. And go. So once again, your load really determines what your time will be at the end of this. One more. Nice work. There you go. Good work. And Bill is done with round number two. Shot. There's a team two. Dumbbell complex as well in round number two. Good. Power clean. Split jerk. Two. And then squat clean. Three. Full depth on that squat. That's it. Nice. <laughs> Six. Seven. Over. Eight. Nine. Nice work. Over. Ten. Go to work, Rena. Let's see Rena moving. She's doing chair step ups. You got ten, you got six over more bills. Dumbbell or barbell or something that she's on the ground. Over. Little blocks, whatever's down there. Your firstborn child. Over. Last one over. That's it. Nice work. We are reaching the eight minute mark. Some of us are done with round number two and going into our final round. Final round coming up. Karen is finishing up her hot bowlers. Did you like the fours with the 15 seconds? We'll see. I'll push it a little bit. All right. You do the work. I do the count. Guys, guys. Final set of this complex. Guys. Final set of 16 reps for this complex. Yes. Guys, I hear Rita yelling, she's pissed, which I like, she is moving, she feels it, nice, Karen's moving as well, I can see it in her face, this is a challenging movement, but she is not stopping, neither are you, neither is Bill. Halfway though. Nice, nice, nice. We are nine minutes, just past the nine minute mark in the workout. Let's see what the intensity level is after round number three of this dumbbell complex. We're in the middle of round number three of the dumbbell complex. It is very high intensity. This is going to be very challenging. This is going to be close to 100% effort on these movements, about 94 to 95% uh, effort, which means it's about 170 beats per minute for Mr. Bill Brooks here. 
So he is definitely moving. This is definitely maxing out his capacity here. This movement is maxing out this his is double time. That one was really fast, Bill. <laughs> Last four. Nice, nice, nice. Four. Don't forget to breathe during these movements. Stay on those heels while you're squatting. I know you want to go too fast. So an issue with that can be happening is that you're only pulling up halfway and not getting that full pull in. You can be able to go to that complete Last one, Bill. squat. Let's finish up his last rep. Nice. Good job, Rena. Squat clean. Boom. Good work. We got Rena and Bill going into their final reps. Over. Bill's at 94, 95 percent effort. Yeah. Are you gonna do that? Okay. Over. This seems like a very fun workout. I like it. Nice work. It looks like he's going to finish well under that 15 minute time cap. 15 minute uh, goal here. Time cap is 20. Bill just passed 11 seconds. Rena just passed 11 seconds. 14 over. Finishing up the final reps. Last one over, Bill. 11.22. Bill is done at 11.22. Rena's finishing up her final reps.
25 seconds before we hit the 50 minute time cap. Uh, right now on Zoom, but social media, once again, might be up to 20 minutes. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let us know in the comments below on how you guys like the movements. If you want to see any uh, specific movements that, we want to, that you want to see, let us know. Uh, but that wraps it up for today.